This review is brought to you by BATOYSFORBABOYS.COM, your number one source for all your Mega Bloks needs. Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. In terror being Halo Mega Bloks, set number 97017, Countdown. This says the Halo Fest Fan Choice winner for 2011 includes 1,241 pieces and it helps to recreate the best mission from Halo Reach, Long Night of Solace. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. Included with the set is a UNSC Saber, a Gantry, and six minifigures. Starting off the minifigures is the two UNSC Marines, which are modeled after their Halo Reach designs. They're painted in white and brown for their armor, with gray for detailing, and teal for the jumpsuit. Each one of them has an exposed face, one with a gold visor, and the other with a green eye monocle. And both of them do come with removable backpacks, which are painted in matching colors. Up next is the UNSC Sergeant, which has a completely new head sculpt. He's painted in green for his jumpsuit, gray for the body armor, with black for detailing. And he does have a peg hole on the back of his torso. The fourth minifigure is a UNSC technician, which has a completely new sculpt. The detailing on his clothing's got a nice realistic appearance. He's painted in light gray for the jumpsuit, and dark gray for the detailing. And there is a peg hole on the back of the figure. Up next is the Grenadier Spartan, which is a repaint of the Not George figure from the UNSC Spade vs. Skirmisher set. He's painted in blue for his armor, with red, black, and silver for detailing, and gold for his visor. And he does have a peg hole on the back of his torso. And the final minifigure is the UNSC Spartan, which is meant to resemble Noble Six. He's got a brand new Mark V Variant B helmet, and brand new Mark V arms. He's painted in brown for his armor, with silver and black for detailing, black for the jumpsuit, and gold for his visor. Here's a better look at the new armor pieces, it's definitely nice to finally see a Mark V added into the collection. And there is a peg hole on the back of the figure. Weapons and accessories include three gray magnums, two black Halo Reach assault rifles, and a black battle rifle. You also get an accessory rack which has multiple different tools for the technician. And the armory portion of the set includes an extra Hassop helmet, a Hassop arm, and a JFO arm, all of which is painted in matching colors. The gantry is hands down the largest part of the set. It's primarily built using black, silver, green, yellow, and translucent blocks. Stickers include warning logos, stars, UNSC logos, control panels, and caution strips. Throughout the gantry, there's many different lights, such as these runway style lights, flood lights, and these large yellow lights up on the top. The structure's command post has windows molded in clear translucent plastic. On the top of it is even more lights, a satellite dish, and an antenna. On the back is an adjustable ladder which allows multiple minifigures to climb up into the command post. And the interior has two control consoles, one of which has two adjustable handles. There's also two sets of ladders, one of which can be rotated over to the Sabre. And of course, the Sabre itself can be displayed on the gantry. The UNSC Sabre is actually a fairly large design, and it's primarily built using silver, gray, black, orange, and white blocks. Stickers include UNSC logos and warning logos, caution strips, vehicle detailing, and even more warning logos. On the back of the Saber is multiple different booster rockets which help the Saber get out of the atmosphere and into orbit. And each section can be individually removed from the vehicle. On the front of the Saber is a refueling connector. Towards the middle of the fighter is the two large heavy cannons. Attached to each side is a jet engine where you can see the detailing for the turbines. And on the back, you can see all four engines with their red exhaust ports. On the top of the vehicle is two fins, as well as some large angled pieces to give it some nice structural detail. And on the bottom, there's three landing struts which can be adjusted. And last but not least, the only major feature on the Saber is that it can seat one minifigure in the cockpit, and it has an opening and closing canopy. So the set gives you the 2011 Halo Fest Fan Choice winner, the UNSC Saber, a large gantry to display it on, as well as six minifigures with a couple of new ones mixed in here and there. Personally, I love this set. The UNSC Saber looks fantastic in its silver color. It's got some good detailing, and I love how it has the removable rocket boosters. The gantry adds some nice display scenery to your collection, and you also get a couple new minifigures which add even more value to the set. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video.